everybody, it's me, Carmine De Stefano, the Book Man. Considering the stellar success they faced with their last DC crossover game, lame. NetherRealm Studios decided to dedicate an entire Mortal Kombat type fighting game based on solely DC characters. So you can play as your favorite heroes like Raven and Green Arrow and Black Adam. Ah! Why couldn't you have made a Marvel game? You could have had fatalities and real heroes and villains, but no! Capcom has to make their cartoony version, and even Legos get their own two cents. <sighs> Injustice, God's among us. Can DC deliver? Well, let's take a look at it together, shall we? The nuke. Where'd you get it? What? You want one? And there, at it again. Joker is being interrogated after detonating a nuke in Metropolis. Then... <laughs> hey, Superman, you could have tried knocking. Superman's pissed because Joker fooled him into killing Lois as well as their unborn child. He ends up killing the Joker out of vengeance. Meanwhile, our mm, heroes are fighting villains on all corners of the galaxy, including Batman who, while finishing Joker, learns he's now a fugitive. He looks fucked until... Apparently, this affects all like, whoa! Wonder Woman, you're looking. ample? We're in another dimension, you see, where that Joker bomb thing actually happened! No, 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 not another multi dimensional storyline! Here, the supers sided with Superman, so there are two of each of them, one side gone mad. Elsewhere, our other heroes in the other dimension attempt to resolve this. Alternately, heroes like Flash and Shazam serve Superman's bidding to conquer all. At his side, he has enemies as well as scantily clad Wonder Woman. Things have gotten a little strange in these universes. I'm so confused. Joker, take over. Harley, it's me. I'm the Joker. Look. It says so right here on my underwear. With these, a bus could fall on us, and we won't be hurt. Slapstick at its finest. I should be dead. Thanks, Happy Bill. You're still the man. Our heroes try to find a way through a period where Superman and Luthor are friends, or so you'd think. This Luthor is trying to stop Superman as well. With the crew, they set a plan that leads to Superman killing Luthor. Then he ends up killing Shazam! Damn, Superman's going to town! The Flash in this warp don't like it. He tries to help as best he can. Even he can't stop the villains that are pouring in. What's worse, Wonder Woman sees her other one is leading the Amazon army against Earth. After taking back command, she assists while the Batmen use their portal to bring the nice Superman over. Against <laughs> Aquaman and the Atlantean troops, Superman stands against himself with the Amazons. He fights Doomsday in the Fortress of Solitude, then meets... I knew they'd pull you over eventually. You don't belong here. Superman versus Superman. Not since Superman 3 have you seen something this great. Beating him, Superman ends Superman's reign of terror. The other heroes bring the anti-versions to their separate custodies, and crazed Superman is stopped by the color red. Now that's the main storyline, but what about the other features? Each and every character, both hero and villain, all have their own individual stories to tell. There's just not enough time to tell them all. From there, in single player, you can check out the Star Labs for some extra challenges with specific characters, practice, go through the tutorial, or play online. Everything you do unlocks extras like profile pictures, backgrounds, and symbols to show off against other online players. That's pretty much it. 
So what did I think of this game? To tell you the truth, I really liked it. It truly is a strong fighting title with a full host of available fighters and unlockables. The story is a good spin on Mortal Kombat type ideals with two dimensions coherently interacting. It gives a hell of a perspective on what would happen if Superman did take advantage of his powers. It's also simply done, explaining how you would be able to face yourself during battles. Considering its comic book setting, its main story does a good job connecting both worlds, unlike some other games I won't mention, goddamn Bosch, I can fit fuck job ruin everything you pitch a fight in that! Sorry. The transition aspect to the already lively, colorful backgrounds are always awesome. The wage minigames are sweet, though they are pretty much determined by super meter buildup, making it more or less decided from the get-go. The super moves themselves are sweet and rewarding. The personalities of the characters really stand out in their movesets as well as specials. This is the Wii U version, which makes it the best. Even with Mortal Kombat robotic controls, the gamepad makes commanding your fighter slick. The only problem is sometimes they are too smooth and you're setting off specials you're not trying to. Combos are simple to string together, though the touchscreen is never used. Online play is efficient, readily available, and TOTALLY FREE! Gotta love the Wii U! The game runs quickly without any bugs or display issues. A truly excellent experience whether running solo or going at it with another person. Overall, despite it being mm, DC, it still delivers an excellent fighting experience no matter how you go about it. Thank you all for watching, I have more for you soon to come, so stay tuned, take care, and have a great day. It says so right here on my underwear.